Picture this. You're on the subway on your way home, and there's a guy sitting next to you with a big bag. Suddenly, he pulls a watermelon with buttons out of the bag and starts playing games on it. Sounds crazy, right? This isn't a sketch or a prank. You're simply looking at a real and fully functioning melon boy. The author of the project is a YouTuber and programming student from Singapore known as Said Is Happy. In addition to a watermelon, he used a Raspberry Pi single board computer, a screen, buttons, and speakers. The melon boy is powered by a power bank. By the way, the system successfully runs the game Pokemon Emerald, which was released for the Game Boy Advance in 2004. This sculpture is not just a piece of modern art, but also a kind of statement. It's made with discarded vehicle parts, thus underlining the negative impact of the car industry in particular and other industries on our planet. The project was created by sculptor Luke Kite and was commissioned by the British Ironworks Centre. The sculpture is 12 feet tall and looks a bit like a Transformer or an ad for a new Planet of the Apes movie. The gorilla was not chosen by chance. This species is going through bad times these days. The sculpture also highlights the importance of recycling. We need to urgently worry more over climate change and helping to protect the thousands of animal species facing endangerment each and every day. The project description reads. The ultimate off-road Tesla. German experts are convinced. They took a Model 3, put it on tracks, and basically turned it into a tank. The ground clearance is increased to 32 inches after the upgrade. The team spent most of the time on the tracks. Each of them weighs about 2,800 pounds, and the installation took about six hours. This differs from a similar Canadian project, where the tracks were much smaller and only replaced the rear wheels. Of course, the total weight of the Tesla also increased up to about 13,230 pounds. The vehicle was provided by an online used car store. Dear Elon, feel free to contact us if you want to take a ride, the authors add. The author of this homemade vehicle was able to add a new experience to the usual recreation on a pontoon boat. Instead of the usual outboard motors, the boat was equipped with two paddle wheels with eight blades each. Thanks to this, the vessel became more maneuverable. For example, it's able to turn on the spot and at the same time retains the ease of operation because only two levers are used. It was made in the US, and its characteristics unfortunately remain a secret. However, it's known that these vehicles have trouble with waves, so it's best suited for coastal recreation or fishing near shallow waters. If you have an old wheel rim in your garage, with a little ingenuity, you can turn it into a wood chunker. There are a lot of similar modifications and instructions for their creation. You can find an option for rims of agricultural machinery, trucks or cars with manual or automatic gear. This particular version was created in Poland. It easily manages branches as thick as a person's arm and has a high operating speed. The author is ready to consider options for sale, although it's not clear whether he will sell this particular version or make a new one, but the price will be of about $340. There's also a limitation. The system will not tackle too thick or crooked branches. Would you buy it or try to build one yourself? Let's go to France and visit a mechanic named William. He is an electrician who lives near Paris and builds rides for children. William's work complies with the European standard EM13814, which is required for the design of all kinds of amusement rides. He stresses that safety is first and foremost. Therefore, several programmable logic elements are used in the rides. Even if the wheel is broken or defective, the car won't run off the rails, and there is a locking system for the control 
control panel. Interestingly, William does not use specialized software to design its creations. Instead, he uses only MS Word tools and draws by hand. He's planning to expand his model lineup, as well as visiting themed amusement parks. His favorite's the American Park Cedar Point, which has 72 rides, including 15 roller coasters. Anyone can make a similar flamethrower. All you have to do is buy an ebook and a video tutorial kit for $97, and then find about $450 for the required parts. Structurally, the flamethrower is based on the American M22 used back in World War II. It has a range of up to 45 feet and takes a couple of hours to assemble. The flamethrower can be fueled with a 3 to 1 mixture of gasoline and kerosene. You'll also need to refill it with carbon dioxide from time to time. This flamethrower is legal almost everywhere in the United States. Only California requires a permit, and in Maryland, it's illegal to own a flamethrower under the state's fire code. A portion of the money from each sale is donated to educational and medical projects dedicated to the prevention of cancer. I create what I feel like creating. Try doing everything well, because it only works out bad if you don't try," says the author of this project. He decided to try his hand at creating a homemade mini tractor. He has a lot of videos on the process on his channel. The top speed of the tractor is about 19 miles per hour. The mid rollers are removable, and the installation of low pressure wheels is possible. For the convenience of the driver, a comfortable seat is provided. The tractor weighs 1,191 pounds. After some successful tests, the mini tractor was sold. Also, the portfolio of the inventor includes a snowmobile and a chainsaw engine and homemade tracks. This humanoid robot that's staring at us with its lifeless gaze was created largely using 3D printing technology. Robotic Life uses the Arduino Mega platform to operate. The robot is equipped with a microphone and speakers, and supports voice control. It has about 25 servos, thanks to which the model moves its head and even holds objects. The creator of the project is a student at a university in Poland. With this project, he won the prestigious Polish competition Elect electronics for a simpler life, surpassing about 70 other participants. The young man has a lot to be proud of, as the jury included experts from Siemens. However, this project was only a way to master various skills for him, in particular programming, and is now complete. Judging by his YouTube channel, we should expect him to return with something flying. This is the world's biggest homemade drone, according to the author of this video. The model was built for a customer from the Dominican Republic and is truly astonishing. During test flights, it was able to lift 165 pounds. It features 29-inch propellers and is powered by an 8-battery system. It uses a modified flight controller, the DJI A2, which supports nine types of traditional motor mixer and is used for both commercial and industrial projects. This element alone costs about $700 to $800. By the way, it's not the first project of this kind for the author. One of his creations is used by a local advertising agency, so this drone may also have helped to take pictures of beautiful Dominican landscapes. Next on our list is a creation by an engineer from the Netherlands. He built an unusual copy of an F-35. The model can't fly, but it can emit spectacular clouds of smoke and confetti, as well as shoot water. In addition, the author of the vehicle went to great lengths with the pilot's costume and little things like signal lights. The model is easy to assemble and disassemble, so you can take it to various events in a trailer. Behind the driver's seat, there's space for children, although adults won't mind going for a ride either. Let's go to Russia to check out this creation by a local car mechanic. This Vaz 2110 turns spectacularly into a combat robot, just like in the Transformers movie. According to the master, the work took about six months, 
and a used parts from other cars and a tractor. The robot has two machine guns. It was inspired by a child's toy the mechanic bought at a supermarket in Singapore. The project had to be redesigned several times, but the result is clearly worth the effort. The master doesn't intend to stop either. He plans to build at least two similar vehicles. I have all sorts of crazy ideas, he said once in an interview. Next up is the work of a British student who created this bionic arm. The main feature of the project is the use of materials that many people would consider trash, from cardboard and craft foam to popsicle sticks. The design was created entirely from scratch and combines practicality and cheapness. In addition to designing the arm itself, the student also had to dive into the world of programming. One of the key components is an Arduino board. However, the difficulties didn't stop him. He even said that he enjoyed the creative process immensely. The result was three different versions of the arm, the last of which is equipped with a transmitter glove. By the way, the young genius won the Big Bang Science and Technology competition with this creation. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.